This video was made possible by Trade. And these are the meats I'm going to be using for today's experiment. They are whole ribeye loins, but each one of them is a different grading. We have prime, premium and choice. In order to find out which one is best to dry age, I'm going to be cutting them in half. That way we can taste one fresh and the other one dry aged. And this one is the choice grade. As expected, there's not a lot of marbling, which is the little white spots throughout the meat. You can still see a little bit, but nothing like a higher grade. And here we have premium. USDA does not recognize this grading. In its eyes, it's still choice, but you can clearly see the difference. The intramuscular fat is way better. And sometimes when I buy premium, I get really lucky. And today is one of those days. And this is prime. As I'm cutting it open, you can clearly see the difference. The outer fat is much larger than the premium one. And it's also very white, a sign that it was grain fed for more days. However, the intramuscular fat is very similar to the premium. So you have a better comparison. Here's what they look side by side. We got prime on the left, premium in the middle and choice on the right. This is the Umai dry age system. And what it does, it allows you to dry age at home without any special equipment. The kit comes with this membrane, which looks like a plastic bag. And the difference between a regular bag is that it allows moisture to escape without allowing anything bad to get back in. It basically allows you to dry edge at home in your regular refrigerator just by putting it there and let it sit. The next step is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is put it in the membrane. One of the things a lot of people make mistake on is drying the meat. You don't want to pat it dry because if you do, you won't have a nice contact with the membrane. If your meat is already dried, one thing you can do is use regular water. You don't have to be worried because the water will evaporate. And as always, it is important to keep everything clean. So by using gloves, all you have to do is rub a little bit of cold water. This will ensure that the meat have great contact. The next thing to do is to use these fabrics which allows you to suck all the air out. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, you can also use the water displacement method. That works great, but since I have a vacuum sealer, I'm better off using it. One thing that you have to remember is that does not matter what you do, you will not be able to suck all the air out. And that's okay. As long as the membrane have good contact with the meat, you are good to go. It is important to have good circulation throughout the whole thing. You don't want to stack them on top of each other. And to make sure the bottom gets air, I'm using using these cooling racks. But now that I have all of them ready, there's nothing else to do but put them on my regular refrigerator and wait 35 days. Once the 35 days were up, I quickly removed them from the refrigerator and opened up the bag. As you can see, the membrane did its job and it dry aged perfectly. I've gotten comments before asking me if you can reuse it and that will be a no. But after removing every single one from the membrane, this is what they look like. And here we have the prime. You can clearly see that the fat's still a little bit white. And this is the premium. The intramuscular fat on this one is awesome. And lastly, we have the choice. I'm having high hopes for choice because dry age actually tenderizes the meat. But there's only one way to find out if it's good, and that is to try it. So here's an advice I'm gonna give you. This fat right here is great for burgers. If you wanna add the unique flavor of dry age to your burger, adding fat is the perfect way. So what I like to do is to remove this big chunk and use for many things. It is also great for chilies. And by cooking it as a steak, it would just be a waste. So I like to remove all of them and save. The next thing to do is to open it up. And here we have the prime. And that looks amazing. And this is the premium. Wow. To me, it looks way better than the prime. What do you think? And lastly, we have the choice. It seems to me that it got a little better. And here's what they all look like next to each other. Then I cut them into steaks. I like them to be one and a half inches thick. One thing you have to remember is that it is okay to freeze dry age. If you do it properly, it will be as good as day one. The most important thing on preserving its quality is a vacuum sealer. You don't want to put them in Ziploc bags. Over time, it will get freezer burn and just be terrible. And I have stored them for quite some time. But good luck with that, they won't last that long. Now to finish off our experiment, these are the three I'm going to be using today. To me, they look perfect and exactly what I'm looking for when dry aging steaks. The next thing to do is to remove the outer layer. 
which is also called pellicles. People always ask me, do you really have to remove that? Yes, you do. They don't taste good. They go well on a chili, but besides that, no. And if you want to see a dry aged chili recipe, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to make it happen. But once I was done trimming, here we have both of them, the fresh and the dry aged ones. We got the dry aged on the top and the fresh ones on the bottom. You can now clearly see the differences between them. The dry aged has shrunk quite a bit. And this is the prime. And here we have the premium. It has also shrunk and the dry age feels way more tender than the fresh. And lastly, we have the choice. As expected, it has also reduced in size. But now that we have everything ready, all there's left to do is to season them. I kept the seasoning simple with salt, freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. It is important to season all sides, including the edges. These are thick steaks and you want to make sure you season them well. But now that I have all of my steaks ready, the first thing I'm going to do is put a nice, beautiful sear on them. Then using my wireless thermometer, I'm going to cook them in indirect heat in until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that's done, we'll be ready to try them. Before cooking these amazing steaks, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor, Trade, and I gotta make me some coffee. I love me some coffee. With Trade, you can discover new coffees from the nation's top roasters. Trade matches you with your own personal selection of coffee and conveniently delivers it to you in just a few clicks. Here's how it works. Step one, take the quiz. Answer questions about how you like your coffee and Trade will curate matches just for you. Step two, make it your own. Choose your delivery frequency and it will appear at your doorstep fresh from the roaster. Step three, rate and repeat. Rate your match so Trade can continue to delight you with coffees you will love. It's as easy as that. The first 100 people who click on the link below will get 30% off their first bag when they sign up. And by the way, free shipping included. Thanks Trade for sponsoring this video. But now I say like I always do, it is enough talking and it is time to cook those beautiful steaks. So let's do it. All right, everybody, we have a beautiful buffet of steaks here today, huh? <laughs> There's a lot more people behind the camera, but we brought these two guys here so they can try it. This is Leo, if you guys don't know. You already know my nephew, Angel. I, I say enough talking because we got a lot of things to eat, yeah? Yeah, we don't want to get the last ones too cold. You know? All right, so here's the deal that I want to know from you guys, all right? These steaks are exactly the same, and so are these, and these as well, okay? So we're comparing A to B, A to B, A to B. <laughs> and I wanna know your opinion, which one you guys like best. Okay. Sounds visually, like a blend? Visually, I'm getting ideas. You getting ideas? Yes. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's start right here in this direction. Go for it. All right, you gotta tell me twice. First one. Nice and thin, so we can really taste the steak. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh wow, I really, <laughs> my bad. 
Oh, that's a nice that's steak. Really good. <laughs> that's really good. It's a Google steak. That's all you have to say about that. Nothing else. All right, second one. We're going to do this together, and we're going to find out if there's any difference from that one. Cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a difference. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, dry wow. age right there. <laughs> Come that's on. A, that's what dry age is? Why? Well, not like it's a huge difference. I can taste it. That's awesome. How do you know it's dry age, boy? Welcome to the Angel Show. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, you just tell now? Just it's a little bit smaller, so like I already had like the idea because I saw it, and then the taste just gave it away. Yeah, it has a nice little nutty flavor towards the end. You can tell right away. This one was only dry aged for thirty-five days. Have you ever had dry aged? And never in my life. It's ever. a little different, right? It's a completely different, a hundred percent. Which one you like better, Leo? The this A one? or B? B by far. <laughs> By far. All right, so it's a big jump. Welcome yes. to the dry age world. Yeah. <laughs> the dry age world. The dry age world on the angel show, right? <laughs> on the angel show. <laughs> All right, enough talking. Let's go for the second one. Go for it. You guys don't play, and I like it like that. I'm gonna get two. You're gonna get double, Leo. Go for it. Leo, don't cheers. Leo's ready. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> My bad. That's delicious, though. Mm. Mm. Wow. I love steak. I love steak too. Now. The dry age. The dry age. <laughs> You're, you see where we're going here already, huh? This is the angel show, yes? Yeah, <laughs> the angel show. Second steak, let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Whoa. Oh, boy. Woo. Wow. God Whoa. damn. Whoa. Now I can tell that that's, that, that's dry age. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Wow. That is a huge yeah. jump right there for me. I gotta say, From it even this got one softer. To this one. It yeah. even got softer. Yeah. Got softer, a little umami taste, a little nutty flavor. It is amazing. The fat renders in your mouth a lot better, has a better bite. It's an overall better steak. Agree? If we're going like this is the baseline, mm -hmm. and then we're trying to judge this one. One to five, go. That was a five jump. Yeah. I agree with Angel. That was full. That was really good. That was crazy. That was so good, I would say it was five and a half. <laughs> uh, we are breaking skills. I guess. No, 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 we're not I breaking. I guess I'm lowballing again. No, no. <laughs> Even though I went to the max this time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Last one. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. I like that. I'm, Man. Vi I'm vibing with that. That, that good. is ridiculously amazing. <laughs> Mm. That's, in my mind, what a Google steak is. <laughs> That's crazy. That's really, really good. Now I'm probably has the most fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, wow. That's damn delicious. Was that what it was, really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm a beast. That one does have the most fat. Okay. That was incredible. Not much to say. It is fantastic steak. Okay. Let's go. Ready? Oh man! Oh my God! It's falling apart. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean to, but it. Just oh, you happened. got a double! Look at my cap just falling apart. All right, ready? I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to get double, huh? I'm not mean. To. I understand Let's that. Cheers! I'm <laughs> hungry. I'm I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. Leo's ready to go. <laughs> Last one. Cheers, cheers, everybody. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, across <laughs> the board. <laughs> Come on, Google, you gotta throw them tens up. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh mm. my god. You just go from like, it's almost wagyu texture. It's just so extremely tender. Mm. The flavor is ridiculous. It's just an overall amazing steak. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. These are choice, these are premium, and here we have prime. So, so Google, I'm sorry, but what exactly does that mean? Because I'm a little bit of a caveman, so I don't really know. No, no worries. So choice grade means that it's like a lower grade, costs less, has less fat in the middle, in between, and intramuscular fat, you know? This has a little bit more fat. It, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, choice and premium is the same thing, mm -hmm. but USDA doesn't recognize it. But can you recognize how much more better this steak here is than this one here? You awesome. know what I mean? Clearly, so yes. That's why, you know, on some places they call it premium because it's so much more superior than choice. And then the last one is prime because it has a lot of fat mm -hmm. and it's amazing. It's the yeah, best it's, thing in the was, world. 100%. That was crazy. That was you know, insane what happened, how different This is what happened is that Leo forgot what steak was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because he's been sticking to chicken lately. 
If you haven't seen the video that Leo was on, go check out. How much pounds? How many pounds did you lose, Louis? Uh, total, uh, 100. 100 pounds. Give me five, my brother. How much chicken is that? A lot. Too much. <laughs> too much. I, I've been craving steak. A lot. <laughs> I, told, I told Google before I got here, I haven't eaten in 27 hours, and he invited me to this. That's so right. I'm super happy. I'm in heaven right you're now. You're ready for a feast, yes. right, Leo? Uh -huh. <laughs> Leo, you're going to have the prime steak and celebrate for your 100 your pounds. Yeah? Yes. Thank you, Google. I could not be more thankful for that. That's Thank right. You. So here's what I have to say. If you take a choice steak, you will slightly improve it. Mm -hmm. All right. If you take a premium, you will improve it a little bit more. A if, lot of bit more. Yeah. Well, a little bit more than choice, we right? Got, we got to the end of the scale, though. I know. Yeah. I, I agree. If you take a prime steak and then you dry age it, it just goes off the roof. Like, mm -hmm. it's so much more superior that there's no comparison. That's a good way of saying it. Yeah. That is why, you know, prime steakhouses, mm -hmm. the best steakhouses in the world, only do it prime they don't mess around with choice because the jump is so much more superior that you have to dry age there's a lot of loss there's it's not worth doing choice it's always worth doing prime it costs a lot more but the jump is tremendously it's worth it uh -huh. yeah that's not to say that the choice grade one is not as good dry age it is good but if you want an overall experience go for the prime because it doubles the betterness is that even a word a betterness well, the goodness the amazingness <laughs> How, i mean what kind of word can i describe i don't know <laughs> maybe greatness the greatness yes That's it's good. greatness anyway guys i hope you got the point i hope you enjoyed this video if you do enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Once again, I would like to thank Trade for sponsoring this video. Remember, the first 100 people who click on the link below will get 30% off their first bag when they sign up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.